All right, let's try this again. This is probably my seventh time trying to film this video and I hope I succeed because if I don't, uh, then I'm just gonna give up and repurpose this content into something else that is easier to create. So I hope I can get through this in one shot and um, really hoping for it. Okay, hello friends, uh, welcome to this video, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about hacks to save time, which is somewhat funny because I haven't been able to, well, not that I haven't been able to find time to film this video, it's more that I try, I attempt, I make the time for it, and then I have been failing because um, Ada is very dependent on me these days and she wants to be involved in everything I do in fact uh, she is crawling towards me so let's see so you see her a little bit there she's trying to come over here oh she needs me Okay, she's saved. Um, let's continue, hacks to save time. I have eight hacks to help you save time and you can take my word on these ones. These are not the generic type of uh, hacks to save time that you hear or read about in other type of content um, because I have never needed so much time in my life and to uh, master the art of multitasking and all of these hacks are really helping me to you know work on my business have a teaching job take care of my baby full-time and take care of all of the house errands at the same time so um, yeah you can take my word on these and these are seriously effective and I hope that they will also boost your productivity so without further ado let's get started my number one hack that I really love and that I've been actually practicing for quite a while is to listen to audiobooks or podcasts or online courses while I am doing activities that don't really require my brain power such as cleaning the house, uh, cooking, uh, changing the sheets of the bed um, or doing my makeup or blow drying my hair, stuff like that that involves my hands to work but not my brain really. So I turn on a podcast or, or my audiobook and even if I get 15 minutes, I get 15 minutes and it is it is just a, a time that I really look forward to and this way I can do multitasking and uh, continue to consume information while I do some other stuff. So this is an amazing hack. I highly recommend you try this one. Uh, number two is prioritizing tasks and really try to get through the ones that are very high on your list because realistically uh, don't expect from yourself to finish everything that is on your list. We always have like very long to-do lists and wish lists but realistically if you get through the ones that are very high priority on your list then you will feel accomplished and successful by the end of the day and that is the feeling that is the goal that we're aiming for with this activity so if you can prioritize your tasks and really try to get uh, hit the ones that are top on your list that is absolutely going to save you time and you are going to be more effective when you attempt those first and Ada is already here she has crawled until here and I cannot believe this this has been happening since the past several days so here she is hi my love <laughs> all right let's continue I have a couple more and I really want to get through these if it means that she will be on my lap she will be on my lap but we are gonna finish this okay so um Number three is book everything in your Google Calendar or iCalendar, uh, whichever calendar you use. Book everything in your calendar, even if it is your self-care moments, even if it is your gym time. Try to book everything in your calendar because this will help you to see that there is something to look forward to, one, and that um, it really helps you to plan out your day and to save time by not thinking oh what was I gonna do uh, or when can I plan this time for myself etc so it helps to save you time in that sense and it's it's pretty effective it when you book everything in advance 
All right, let's move on to number four. It is having a dedicated space for everything in my life, whether it is my water bottle or my keys or uh, my notebook or my pen or my computer. I have a dedicated space for everything in my life and this helps me to not lose time by searching for these items in my house or um, in my office, wherever I am. I always put these items in the same place and it just always helps me to save at least a couple of minutes, uh, if not more, uh, in the case that I lose the item. Okay, number five, and this one I've been uh, implementing recently and I really like this hack actually. It saves a lot of time and it is very practical and very easy. Uh, so I use the voice to text feature on my phone, uh, which I believe all of the phones have these days. So I use this feature to write my emails, create the content, sometimes if it's a written piece of content, Instagram captions, uh, WhatsApp messages. I use it for all kinds of purposes. Sometimes I use just voice voice messages, I guess they're called. Sometimes I just send voice messages or sometimes if it's if it needs to be a written piece of content like an email I use the voice to text feature and I uh, record my messages through that and then if it needs some grammatical editing then I do that and it's ready to send. Uh, in fact, the latest LinkedIn article that I wrote and published, I think last week, was a voice to text content that I created. I was playing with Ada at the same time and I wanted to get those ideas through and that was the easiest way for me to do that. So I didn't have access to my keyboard or my laptop but instead I used my phone, I recorded my message and then I did a couple of uh, very simple editing and my article was ready to go live. So you can absolutely use this one. I promise it will save you a lot of time. Number six is uh, having very minimal items in your life, embracing the minimalism approach and lifestyle because if you have only the things that are really relevant and really necessary in your life, you will not need to go through the clutter which really waste your time by the way if you have a very cluttered closet for example and every morning you wake up and before you go to work you open your closet and you're looking through hundreds of clothes that don't even fit you you're losing time or if you open the fridge and you are trying to find something to uh, cook into dinner and you're going through all the ingredients that you don't like you are losing time so uh, these are just two examples that come to my mind very you know briefly but you can apply this idea to a lot of other things and i can assure you this has worked greatly in my life just to declutter everything and to have only the things that i really need and like in my life have helped me to not go through the waste and the clutter and lose time I couldn't hold her down for longer, so she's with me. Uh, number seven is sticking to routines. And this might seem like a strange time-saving hack, but it certainly helps to save time because uh, once you have routines, uh, you can keep yourself on track and you have dedicated times for the different activities that you need to do or you want to do. So this is somewhat similar with the idea of keeping a calendar and keeping track of the items and keeping track of where you put them. It's all the same idea of using your time very efficiently and very, very wisely. So that is that. And number eight, which is the final hack, and that is very <laughs> relevant for me. And I like to call that lose the perfectionism. So uh, if you asked me last year how I needed to film a video, it would definitely not be this way. Um, I would say that I needed the perfect light, which I don't have currently. I would need a perfect environment. I would need the best camera, the best um, audio device, microphone, whatever. And I needed to be in the mood to do it. And if I wait for everything to happen, if I wait for everything to be perfect, then I know that I'm not getting through it. Once I was able to get that idea out of my head and once I was able to lose that perfectionist in me, decide to be more unfiltered with the content I'm creating or the work that I'm doing, uh, it just helped me to get through 
things much easier and much faster and if I was to wait for the perfect moment or the perfect environment to film a video to apply for a job to speak to someone that time never comes or that time is so late that I'm not uh, willing to do it anymore so lose the perfectionist and just go with it take action <laughs> yes take action yes we take action we're not perfectionists anymore this is how we do it if this is how we need to do it so I suggest you do the same it does not mean that have your baby in your lap when you're filming videos obviously this is my scenario this is my real reality but um, it could apply to you in a different sense so I guess you get the idea of uh, not waiting for that perfect moment so that is all I wanted to share. I think I covered eight hacks in total. I really hope that these help you to uh, increase your productivity, save time in your life, and get ahead with your goals and your to-dos and your wishes uh, much faster and easier. And in the end, doing all of this will make you happier because you will be able to get more things done. That's all I wanted to share. Hope you enjoyed this and hope you found it valuable. If you did, Please don't forget to like, yes Ada? Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, um, and also share with your friends and network if you think they will benefit from this information. That is all, you know what to do. Um, take care and I will see you in the next video.